Oh, here we go. That's Horace. Horace, can you hear me? Absolutely. Okay, sure cool. Let me adjust my camera. Yeah, I was just filling everyone in on what we are covering tonight. Tonight we're going to cover uh, women. Don't throw any bottles at us. You know, tonight we feel that men that are attempting to be faithful should be rewarded. And we're going to explain why. You know, some people may feel like that's something that should be at default, but we're going to give you a breakdown from a men's perspective, me and Horace, uh, why we feel that men should be rewarded for the efforts of being uh, faithful. And, uh, oh, that's uh, one of our guests down below, the voice of Lush. She's in the room. So the long story short, uh, hormones have plagued men for many years. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> hormones have plagued men for many years, okay? And besides hormones, hormones leads to feelings, it leads to erection, it leads to stupid decisions, and mistakes happen. And some mistakes are good mistakes, and some mistakes are bad mistakes, and some mistakes lead into uh, detrimental breakup in your relationship. Divorce, <laughs> uh, child support, uh, <laughs> broken windows, uh, cut penises. Yeah. <laughs> uh, stabbing, stabbing, shootings, you know, the typical stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with all the things that take place, um, fortunately, the average woman that has experienced uh, being cheated on before, and um, it's not a pleasant thing. So I feel that for the guys that have uh, actually managed to keep the third leg intact, that um, – I think that um, they should be rewarded. What the hell is all this shit on your face, Horace? I don't know. Sorry, I was just <laughs> I'm messing around with the screen. So I, I want to break on. I want to go through every avenue of like why they should be rewarded, how they should be rewarded, and um, when they should be rewarded, Horace. Well, let me, let, let me start by saying <laughs> this. Me, uh, this is going to be a very touchy, touchy subject. Um. Women don't really know what the hell we go through every day, especially good men. Good uh -huh. men that are actually trying to make the relationship flourish, trying to make the relationship nice and, and, and comforting, loving, um, you know, supportive. Good men go through hell. Um, because you know what? Other women out there in the field see us as good men, and they put the, that, that direct pressure on you where it's like, they know you're a good man. They know that you're being faithful. So they're attracted to that. And by being attracted to that, there is a natural attraction also within yourself like them. It's a good-looking woman, too. And the natural, the, the, the hormone that you mentioned before of a man, it makes us such a hunter like, man, another one is attracted to me because I'm a good man. Man, um, uh, she, she, you know, she, oh, he, he's such a great guy. And I, I wish I had such a, a strong, handsome guy like himself. And as a good man, and as trying to be rewarded at home, all you can say is, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. And you keep it moving. <laughs> no, that takes a lot. That takes a lot for a man. That natural instinct is to, 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 to hunt, to fish. Uh -huh. to, 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 to this, get the woman for the, that same thing, person that is complimenting you now and is admiring you to just still fly straight. That's very difficult. Women might not understand that, but for us guys that are, are really attempting to, 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 to fly straight, mm -hmm. it's not that easy, man, because mm -hmm. our mentality is not a pick and choose thing where a woman is the one that I always said this before. Well, a woman's the one that really uh, picks the man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. for us, our mentality is to hunt, to get, to achieve the woman. So when you have a woman, another woman that's giving you compliments and just really showing interest in you, not direct interest, because most women don't really come directly and say, oh, I want you. Yeah. They show indirect interest, and that sparks the hormones. Like, oh, man, damn, you know, now you got to fly straight. Mm -hmm. Women don't know what we go through, man. So I, 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 I tend to agree. I don't think it, I don't think I don't think our our women at home would be like oh y'all ass shouldn't shouldn't get no damn reward for flying straight, <laughs> but if you really know what the hell you go through to to maintain the steady you know track, 
you would, you would, I would, I would want more than just a big piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. I want, <laughs> I don't want the big piece of chicken. I don't want uh, uh, all the, the 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 good things that come with being a, a, a man that's flying straight, a man that's doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what I think about that, man. You, you guys don't know what we go through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and speaking of uh, unfortunate experiences in my life, um, is like yeah, like just like Horace said, when you do try to fly straight, it seems to come. It seems temptation seems to come knocking even harder, you know, as if they're SWAT or ATF. And um, I'm not sure if it's just the laws of attraction, like, hey, it's like a signal going off in uh, other women's uh, intuition, like, wait a minute, that guy, he's a good guy, he's trying to be good, he ain't fucking around, I want to see if I can get that. That's my challenge. But, but you know what? I don't think I don't think women necessarily say I think I want to get that. They're just attracted to what they, the intuition is telling them. Like you know, man, yeah. that's that's like a really confident, good dude. Like it's something about him. Because well, a lot of times when when a man is really happy in his relationship, his his confidence is different. It 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 it's, it's shown through. Like, he, he seems a little more... Like the aura, you know, the energy? The, the energy yeah, the yeah. You know, very, very inviting, very... Everything is happy. Everything is comfortable. You know, so more, you know, more polished. And women see that. So is, it more, is, it, is it more like, I want that? Is it more like... Um, um, is it more like, because I can't have it, I want it? Say the word? Is it more like, is something I, I want that I can't have, so it makes you want it more? Um, I wouldn't know. I, I don't know if women think that way. Um, Voice of Lust just said, how do we know that you're being 100% faithful? Um, all you can do is just, just go by what we're telling you. If you, if you trust your man and you, and you believe in your man, then whatever you, your man say or whatever my woman say, all you can do is just believe what she says. I mean, you can't, all you can do is just trust in what they're telling you, you know, that they are being faithful. You know, and, that's all you can do. Yeah. And let's, let's be realistic here, man. You know, I, I don't have an ego, and so I have no problem saying that women are very intelligent. They have um, great intuitions. You know, you know when your man is behaving or misbehaving. You know, you don't even need to ask him. You know, you can just observe him and feel him out, no matter how good he is. You know. So with that being said, I feel like some little perks should happen here and there, like you know, breakfast in bed, you know, random or a pleasure in the car on the way home. Uh, maybe basically, 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 you're saying let's just 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 go back to how things were before we got married, like what we used to just do wild <laughs> shit, and, and we used to actually enjoy life and not have this marriage, this born marriage type typical marriage thing. Well, I want I don't want it to how it was when we were wild and crazy. That's what we for me being such a good man, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and you know, like the lingeries are good. Those are perks, man. You know. Uh, generally, most of the time in relationships now, um, because you're so complacent with each other, you kind of just um, begin the foreplay and you just yeah, go yeah, into they, it. There's no yeah, more half, like, half ass, yeah, half ass on the foreplay. Yeah, you know, I mean, like yeah. Remember, remember, you, know, you think about back in the day when when y'all guys, you guys like really try to please each other. Now it's just ah, that's enough. That, yeah, he, he, he please enough. He he likes it here. He likes it there. I'm gonna roll yeah. here. I'm gonna turn there. Yeah. No, no, I don't want. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want you. I, I, I don't want you to be like the first time we met. How about right. that? Yeah, the um, the lingeries, the random lingeries. Um, yeah, no, no scheduling of intercourse. You know, like hey, hey you see what um Brooks? You see what Brooks uh sell, sell said? She said, oh, she said, oh, okay, this is uh, after you're married. I say no. This is no. not after you're married. This is when you're in a committed relationship. Mm -hmm. This is not about. It's not about necessarily marriage. Marriage shouldn't change the way you guys treat each other. Mm -hmm. But if you're if you're in love, you're in love before marriage or after marriage. So it's not just after marriage. Mm -hmm. saying, Steve? Yeah, yeah. So I was saying that like the schedule. You know, a lot of things that happen like um, after you get complacent with your partner, you start scheduling uh, me time, yeah. she time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is such a, that's such a turn off, man. But when you gotta when you gotta schedule sex, ah man, it, it takes all the fun out of it. it. But you ever notice like when you're going through issues, that's when the spice comes back again. Well, I want the damn spice. I want the spice <laughs> back when I'm doing the right things. 
And I, I hear you lush. I do hear you lush. But sometimes the spark is lost. It might be because of the man's fault, you know, because of some, something that took place in the, in the relationship uh, that broke the woman's, you know, her energy level. So she's still recovering. So she doesn't feel sexy and she doesn't want to do anything sexy for you, you know. She's, you know so that happens. So you have to go through the, I like to call it the, the, the down period, you know. You have to go to the down period because in every relationship it's like a stock market. You're going to have your highs and your lows. So, you know, you fucked up. Now she's on her low just in general, you know. She, she don't feel like being a freak for you, but she'll give it to you. You understand? So it's like, okay, you just kind of just, Here's your frozen food, motherfucker. You heat it up, you know, instead of yeah. just, yeah, it, it, that's kind of how it happens. So I'm going to take some of the blame to men that maybe the spice is lost because of something that took place in the relationship that led to the spice that's being lost. But if somehow this gentleman can recover from that loss and he's <laughs> on a great incline, I think he should be rewarded along the way. No, men are not kids. We understand that. And yes, you are not your you are not your man's mother to be rewarded with little stars and happy face stamps on their wrist every time he does good. Like, good job, Stevie. But the thing is, like, with all the pressure. Pressure, of, man. Yeah, pressure. Of, of, of trying to stay within the grain. Because going against the grain is just doing what you want to do. Staying within yeah. the grain of what's the norm of, or what you and your partner value in a relationship, it gets cluttered. And then another thing, why are we the only why are we the only living things on this planet that put so much focus on monogamy instead of just existing and just letting your relationship be? You know, Horace? Because we think we know everything. And we just we apparently we, we're always trying to separate ourselves and from, from being animals. We're always trying to separate ourselves and say we're not animals, we're not animals. Not animal, but in, internally we actually are animals. So we can't just simplify it and say that. Well, no, we're not. We're not. We're not animals. We 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 know better, you know. But but if you really break it down through, you know, just the existence of us, we end up acting like animals when it comes down to the nitty gritty. Right. At the end of the day, because what you what you see every day, at, uh, what you what you see throughout the the years and years happen. Um, fathers of fatherless homes, animal kingdom. Father, males are not around with uh with the uh, the, 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 the um, offspring. Uh -huh. it, it, it's just it's just the same things happen in the animal kingdom that happens in the, in the human beings also. But we always trying to break away from what we really naturally are. Um, and, and one of the, one of the big perks I think we should get as far as you know for doing the right thing as you know as a man as a, a man in a relationship. I think they should just pay the bills, all the bills for the month. <laughs> I'm against. I'm just saying. Just you know what, <laughs> baby. You know what? I, my reward should be, you know, just pay all the bills this month. <laughs> what, what, what? 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 I'm I'm serious, Steve. Dog. If we get some parts like this, this will be possibly the beginning of greater relationships. Cause guess what? Now uh, more men want to see the benefits of being great men and not uh -huh. cheating and not doing the wrong things. Uh -huh. Man, I ain't got to pay the mortgage next month, dog. No, not <laughs> no, I'm not cheating this shit. No, you crazy? Uh -huh. not, not, not looking at the fact that I have a good woman home, I have a family, everything is good. No, I ain't got to pay no bills next month, dog. So, fuck yep. that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm straight. Dog. I'm not fucking up. What <laughs> man, man wouldn't want to save some money in a relationship? <laughs> yeah, please, Steve. Oh please. man, that, that, that's a great. What trip. saving money? Steve, what? I don't have to. I don't have to buy no groceries. I don't have to pay no cell phone bill. <laughs> I don't have to pay no uh, kids' uh, aftercare fee. The the light, the mortgage. Listen, a wo the woman would probably be trying to find find. Probably trying to put some women on you to cheat the, uh, the fuck up, so she got. <laughs> so you're asking me the dog has to actually still pay the bills. Uh -huh. That's serious, dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, 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 and I don't want to get you.